In this video, we'll be hunting two boxes of pennies as well as soon as we can make some progress to the Penny Hunt and Fill album. Of course, we'll be looking for any wheat sets from 1958 or older. I'll also be looking for any proofs, foreigns, airs, or varieties, or any other cool things we can find, as well as setting aside any copper we get and seeing how much we can fill the copper jar. Have checked both these boxes for enders, and we do have one ender per box. We have a wheat scent ender for box number one right there. It looks like a 1950 Denver. And in box number two, we do have a 1978 Canadian ender right there. So a couple of enders, definitely great to see. Had a pretty interesting episode last time. If you want to check that out, we've had a very interesting box. This time, I'm hoping to get some more wheat scents. So let's start the hunt on box number one, and I'll bring you in on the first find. Rule number four just gave us the first wheat scent of the hunt. And it is 1945 out of Philly. Roll number eight just uncovered another wheat scent. Second one of the box is 1949 from Philly. Just opened roll 10. We're going to have the third wheat scent in this roll. See the back of it right there. And that's going to be 1948 from Denver. Just opened roll 12, and I see the edge of another wheat scent. So this is already going to be the fourth of the hunt. Definitely on a good pace so far. And this one is from the 30s. In 1934, out of Philly. Do already have this one in the album, but it's in decent shape. Could upgrade. Definitely awesome to see a wheat scent from the 30s. Roll 14. We actually have a couple of finds in this roll. First of all, we have another wheat scent I see back here by the date. It's a 1946 Denver, already wheat scent number five, which is great. And also, we do have a variety. We have a 2015 DDO. I'll put it under the scope to show. This one is the DDO 003. There's slight doubling from like the top left to the bottom right on the date. And in Liberty, it's just kind of thicker than normal. And then there's also a little bit of doubling in Trust as well. I'll bring it up on Variety Vista to show. So we have that slight doubling on the date, like mine has. And then there's also this diagnostic, it has kind of a die crack on the forehead. And I'll bring mine back under the scope to show that mine does have that same die crack as well, if you can see that above the eye. Mine's not in the best shape, so it's not the easiest to see. It's, it's obviously in red condition, but it does have some spotting and circulation to it, so not great for 2015. But I have found a few 2015 DDOs before, glad to add this one to the collection. Another wheat scent for the board. Roll 24 was that wheat scent ender. Don't see anything else in the roll, but we have the ender here, which is a 1950 Denver, and is wheat scent number 6. Just opened roll 26. We're going to have two wheat scents in this roll. I see a reverse right there and a day right there. I'll pull this one out first. These are going to be wheat scents number 7 and 8 already. We have a 1953 from Denver. And then I reverse a few coins in right here. It's in pretty decent shape, and it is 1940 out of Denver. Roll 30. At the end of the roll, just uncovered another wheat scent. This is number 9 for the box, almost at 10 already, which is great. We have a 1947 from Denver. Just opened roll 31. Don't have the 10th wheat scent yet, but we are going to get a couple foreigns in this roll. And I bring you in because that one's not Canadian. We do have a Canadian here, they're only one coin apart. That is a 1969, it's the third Canadian of the hunt. And right here we have a Bahamian scent. That one from 2004, pretty cool starfish design on it. Have been, has been a while since I found one, definitely cool to see. Roll 32, just uncovered the 10th wheat scent of the box, which is awesome, that's what I like to get to. And we still have 18 rolls left. We have a 1941 out of Philly. Just opened roll 35, box is staying consistent. We have another wheat scent in this roll. This is going to be number 11 for the box, right here. This time it is 1948 from Philly. Just opened roll 40, and in the back of the roll, I spot wheat scent number 12, right here. Definitely a great box. This is 1953 from Denver. First box has been hunted. It was definitely a pretty good box. Ended up with 12 wheat cents on the board, which is definitely a good amount, including one from the 30s in 1934, which I definitely like to see. A little bit of oldies in the box. Some Canadians as well. Did get that 2015 DEO, which is pretty cool. 
probably not worth too much probably a couple of dollars at most since it is a minor variety it's still cool to find and it did get that bahama scent as well cool to see a different foreign as well as a penny with the sticker on it so overall pretty good amount of finds in the box so definitely take that i'd be happy if box number two continues the same way but we'll have to see so let's start the hunt on box number two Roll number three is going to give us the first sweet scent of the second box. Just a few coins into the roll. It's a 1944 from Philly. Roll seven. We're going to get our second wheat scent at the end of this roll. One error from being an ender. It's another 1944. This one is from Denver. Just open the next roll. We're going to have another wheat scent. And just like the last roll, this one's one away from being an ender. This time at the front right there. This one's going to be... 1952 Denver. Just opened roll 11. We're going to have another wheat scent, so this is going to be the fourth of the box. And by the edge of it, it does look pretty nice. You see the edge of it right there. It looks like it might be a nice one. And it is a pretty nice wheat scent. It does have some brown spotting on it, but definitely full red underneath. Probably a late 50s, but maybe it'll be an upgrade. And it's actually a 1950 out of Denver, and the front of it looks a lot nicer than the back. And the 50D we have in the album, definitely not that nice. So this is going to be an upgrade for the album, which is awesome. Reverse doesn't look nice, but the obverse is a side that shows, and that is going to be looking really nice in the album. It's definitely a super cool wheat scent to find. Just opened roll 13. We're already going to be up to five wheat scents for the box, so definitely off to a good start. So far doing well, just like the first box. Wheat scent right here, and it is 1956 Denver. Just opened roll 18, and I see the edge of another wheat scent, so this is going to make 6 for the box. Again, doing very well so far. Got the wheat scent right here, and it is 1946 out of Philly. Just opened roll 26, and I see the edge of another wheat scent, so this is going to make 7 for the box. Only 3 away from getting 10. It's right here. This is some corrosion, but it is. 1955 out of Philly. Doesn't look like the DDO. Maybe the poor man's, but either way, just a normal 55. Second box has been hunted, and the last 24 rolls of that box did not produce a single wheat scent. It was hot at the start, but definitely cooled down. Either way, still going to end a hunt with two boxes, so let's go over the finds. We end up with 8 1959s, 13 Esmonds, as well as 24 2009s. Forms. We ended up with nine for the hunt, eight of those being Canadian. The oldest was 1969. And we also did get that one 2004 Commonwealth of the Bahamas scent with the starfish on it. Definitely cool to find a different foreign. They also did, got that coin with an N sticker on it and did get that 2015 DDO 003. I'm pretty sure now I have all the varieties of the 2015. There's three of them. This is the last one I needed, so that's pretty cool. Now for wheat scents, we did good in the first box, not as good in the second box. 12 from box one and seven from box two. The second half of box two would have been the same as the first half. We done, would have done a lot better. Still, box number two did give us that really nice 1950 Denver, which I think will upgrade. And box number one did give us one Olby in 1934, which I think could upgrade as well. Copper was slightly light, but not too bad overall. I'm just in the copper jar like usual, just slightly less than we normally get. Either way, definitely a good amount of copper. So, now I'm going to go over all the finds, see how much progress we can make to the album. I think we could have a couple upgrades, and I'll bring you back with an update of the album. Just compared all the finds to the album, we knew we didn't have any additions, but in terms of, of upgrades, we did pretty good. I ended up with three upgrades in the wheat sense, which was awesome. First, I thought this would upgrade. The 1934 we had is pretty worn. This one's definitely a lot nicer. Slight upgrade on the 1949, less worn than our previous one. And then the biggest upgrade was definitely that really nice 1950D we found. Definitely upgraded the brown one we had in there. So in terms of upgrades, it did pretty good. No additions, but it's getting hard and harder and harder to get additions this late in the series. Don't really expect it, but three upgrades will definitely take it. This was still a very fun penny hunt.